sorry, didn't see you there, mate. How you doing? What are you in for? Beer trim? I can do a beer trim. Just let, give me two minutes, let me tidy up here, all right? Lap been treating you well. That's good to hear, good to hear. So, don't we live in interesting times? Ha! <laughs> Funny you mention that. Do you remember the, uh, I believe it was called. Digital, the Digital Economy Act of 2017. Was that really the last time you were here? Whew, time flies. Well, there's an update on that. That, you want a reminder? Okay. A few years back, the British government decided on copyright material needed to be blocked. So, popular BitTorrent sites, similar to Pirate Hub, Torrent Spy, God bless his soul, closing down, uh, closed down. Well, they didn't close down. They were blocked by most British ISPs, internet service providers, which I have an issue with, but I'm going to cite so if you Googled them, or you went to them, your ISP will come up with, I use Skype.net at the time. You cannot come here. This is blocked for your safety. That's bullshit, isn't it? So, the British government in 2017 brought into act the Digital Economy Act, which would have... Would someone think of the children? Which would require any pornographic sites to have an age verification system. So th what that means is you would have to provide ID, official, official ID, that you are 18 and that you can access these websites. So there are some issues of this, obviously. And uh, I will link you to uh, my former rant about that. I will. But uh, the, the major issues were that a one company owns most of the major pornography sites. So, you know, a Pornhub. The owners of that also own Brazzers, Bang Bros. And <laughs> How do I know what these sites are? I read, son. I read. You should also read. they developed an age verification system where you would register with all their websites your identity. And there are some people that go, oh, well, the children can't access this. Ever heard of a VPN? Jesus Christ, when they blocked the torrent sites, all you had to Google was site VPN. But there are bigger issues that meant your Official identity was linked to your particular tastes. Hmm. And I know what you're into because you signed up to it, didn't you? Dirty. Dirty. But uh, that's beside the point, isn't it? That's it. <laughs> So, that was meant to go, it's currently July the 4th, 2019, 
And that was meant to go into act live on um, <coughs> July 15th. <laughs> and, uh, it's been delayed indefinitely, which is hooray! That's a good thing, obviously, but it makes you go, why? Why has that been delayed? And I reckon, despite, despite, backing it. I mean, we won't go into why this, you know, violates civil rights, that's a different thing. I reckon, I reckon that some, oh, it's a bit hard, I reckon. I reckon that some MP, MP some MP, didn't do that well, did I? Some MP, Signed up to an, uh, a, a beta, let's call it. They signed up to a beta. And uh, their particular kink caused some outrage. Now, this is just a theory. Don't get me wrong, I'm just a you know, day by day geezer with a different accent occasionally, depending on what I'm saying. But I reckon they had a particular kink that. Um, some issues, you know, in the back of the Conservative Party, I reckon it, uh, how should we say, raised a few eyebrows, and uh, I'm fairly sure that's, that's why it's been done. Well, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sweeping up the last car, it was a hairy motherfucker. Boris Johnson may be our next uh, MP. Theresa May uh, gave up, and uh, oh, it was a course of celebration. And uh, she released a, a sentimental, tearful goodbye, where she said, I did my best for the British public, which makes you go, Jesus fucking Christ. How bad could it have been if she hadn't done? Well, the conservative leadership, there are, there are, there's one, there's one winner. About 20 went up and uh, there are two left. It's, it's Jeremy Hunt. Boris Johnson. Boris Johnson is a very nice, and I, I spoke before about how uh, Brexit is uh, a stupid idea, and how he would use Brexit to go for the Prime Minister position, and uh, God, I hate it when I'm right. So, Jeremy Hunt is the leader. He's got his own issues, I'm not too uh, familiar with him, but Boris Johnson, oh, you just have to go. He's our version of Trump, but he's smart and rich. And that is terrifying, absolutely terrifying. But, but we've got a strong leadership, we've got a strong Labour Opposition Party who are also tearing apart the insult. Yeah, I'm Labour. Labour till I die, maybe. But uh, Jeremy Corbyn, I'm a fan of the man, but in a party bickering is destroying <laughs> is destroying Labour. It's destroying conservative Brexit. This Britain has gone from 
influential in the world, you know. We, there's no denying it. We have a say to a laughing stock. And uh, that fucking upsets me. It's a geezer. British geezer. We're going to have our own blonde retard as a prime minister as well. So that's a shame. But hey, what you going to do? But, uh, yeah. That's about it, really. Oh, in the news, there was also a, uh, the tabloids. The Daily Mail, The Sun, you know, their normal shit. They were celebrating the death of a British family that went over to ISIS, the Islamic State. Now, it's a tragedy. These people were in Syria. A family of 11 were all killed. The last kid. Now, they had three children under 11. And the comments on these things are incredible. They've all been going, yeah, they deserved what they got. Now. The adults, you know, they, whether they deserved it or not, was up to a thing. They went to fight. They should have lost British citizenship, in my opinion, but, you know, it's a tragedy when anyone dies. But an entire family of 11. Uh, a couple of them died from airstrikes, I think. A couple of them were fighters and died. But three children, three under 11, were killed because of a stupid family decision. Three, three children under three. No, sorry for getting off. I don't like crutch goblins, I don't. But if you're under 11, you're innocent. And people in the comments of these web pages are celebrating, saying, Oh well, deserve where they got. They were fucking kids, man. Sorry. That's uh... Anyway, son. What was it you were wanting? Trim? Yeah, I can do that. 